Not gonna lie, as a Kendrick fan this silence getting hard. Can he just silence these Drake n already? Jesus. Now I did hear a theory, right? Do you believe the theory Drake has a nuke about Kendrick? It wouldn't really make sense to taunt someone like Kendrick with all the ammo on the internet. I don't know. Drake is strangely confident right now, and Kendrick being silent doesn't help, but once again, that's for the perception of social media. That's the power of marketing. The fact that you're asking me that question when their discographies and their rapping abilities prove who's a bigger danger to the other, that's the power of marketing. That's the power of, of, of the narrative and how when you're active, people forget and their memory is much shorter. Their memory is, is, is small as f You know what I mean? When there's one person that decides to come out and start swinging and then the other is just significantly more active. There's a theory that, uh, that Kendrick is supposed to drop an album. I don't believe this. Uh, but there is speculation that there might be a heart part six coming out and there's going to be a response to everything on there in preparation for an album. I really don't think that's going to happen. If that did happen, I would think that this is the worst shit in the world. I would look at Kendrick completely different and be like, this was all for marketing. That's crazy. That's weird. That's like, nah, bro. That's that's ass, to be honest. Um, we'll see. I don't think or at least I hope that's not how it goes. They doing a. Uh fast food on that side that don't dictate that don't dictate how we cook mm -hmm. over here so yeah drake has that skill i can reply to you niggas fast and he has the right to put that light back on him we in the art of war yes of but course. am i holding kendrick to the hey i need to hear your joint immediately in the next week or two weeks i'm not doing that i wouldn't do that either but like i said i don't think it's unrealistic for somebody to assume that kendrick would have had some material already if he was the one that called everybody out you feel what i'm saying um i, I think that the time constraint thing can be corny given who you're referencing but at the same time looking at the events that transpire and the amount of time that's taken or the amount of time that's been given from the diss initially on like that up till now you would have assumed that kendrick would have had something out in preparation or already you know what i'm saying um on drake's heels in some capacity but but nothing's been said so at least in my opinion i think the clock technically for me started at like that um and even though i'm still giving him more than enough time to respond i don't think that kendrick would ever call out drake as obviously and as directly as he did without expecting drake to reply either he's had something already and he's adding or perfecting or doing xyz um but i don't think it's unreasonable for somebody to look at kendrick and be like where you at cuz i don't think that's unreasonable at all are niggas forgetting that kendrick was the one that called out drake he should have been ready that's how i could understand somebody coming at it from that perspective the more drake puts pressure on and drops i mean he might uh change a few things here and there i don't know or he might have already been sticking to his plan from the very beginning like whether drake responded or not he was probably he could have probably been on that and then maybe it is an album rollout which would be terrible i would hate that but maybe it is and he's like you know what let me let me just you know what i'm saying drop this album in may with a heart part six and then we gonna we gonna aim it at drake if he replies blah 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 who knows right? the fuck is the rush though it's not really a rush it's just more of a where you at you know nigga's not really like begging for a nigga to drop Outside of his fan base is arguing back and forth with Drake because the optics of this look really good for Drake. And Drake knows how to sway the optics, at least currently, to get Kendrick Lamar fans to look ridiculous because they keep coping or coming up with a new excuse for why this, why that, as opposed to just shutting the fuck up and waiting for their goat to drop. So this is all about the fan base right now. The whole, you gotta drop at this time, you gotta drop at this time. Like, the artists really don't have to give a fuck about that, but the fans do. They move in the goalposts for KDOT. I don't know, I'd have to see what people's response would have been when when Like That came out. If, if, if niggas can show me people, the same people that were saying that Drake has to reply in 72 hours after Kendrick dropped Like That, and they're not keeping the same energy for Kendrick, then you know what I'm saying? You got that. This right here is what I, I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't like this. This whole like Kendrick ain't responding to this foolishness. Like now is foolishness. Now is foolishness. I think you'll respond in general, but the diss was so weak, it in no way deserves its own response. Like that's how you feel. There's no way you feel like that. 
There's no way you feel like that. Because if he if the nigga dropped tonight, if he dropped tomorrow, you'd be like, oh my, you be you be the first person on the track. You listen to it immediately. What do you mean he don't have to reply to it? The fuck does that mean? That's that's what I've seen. I haven't seen anybody do a complete, you know, 180, but I've seen that shit right there. The whole he didn't officially claim the track. He didn't drop it on DSPs. Kendrick don't need to reply. Uh, why does Kendrick got to reply a week later or or a couple days later when y'all gave Drake three weeks? Uh, uh, why can't why can't Kendrick get enough time even though Drake didn't get enough time? Well, Drake was on tour. Oh well, Kendrick might be taking his time too. Like, bro, y'all just gotta be quiet. Like, it, it's it's gonna be okay. I, it just made me want to hug some of the fans. Be like, bro, it's gonna be good. Like, he he did not forget about you, cause they still own it. Like, could Kendrick has also been a person that has uh, invoked you know uh, a certain face to provide a message you know i had already talked to y'all about this two three years ago or about two years ago now when the hard part five came out and i do have the video evidence if niggas think that i need to lie about it um where i was saying that i didn't like how kendrick invoked nipsey hustle and basically spoke on his behalf saying how he would apologize or aside saying that he would forgive his killer because i know it helps the overall point and messaging of the record and the perception of what nipsey hustle is or means to kendrick but you don't know how the fuck he felt you don't know what the last emotions of of nipsey hustle were as he was taking his final breaths you don't know if the nigga was scared i don't i don't care if he got consent he didn't get get, get uh get consent from nipsey you don't know whether the nigga was scared whether he was angry whether he was pissed off whether if he had an opportunity to get up, he wouldn't put six bullets right back in the nigga who put bullets into him. I don't want to hear that. Not to say that the track itself wasn't still beautiful, because it is. But at the same time, I'm looking at it like I'm sure niggas will bring up the, the, the Tupac shit. I'm sure they'll bring up the Tupac, uh, the, the Tupac track where I don't know what I think it was Mortal Man, uh, where he has a conversation. And I mean, it's the same thing to a degree. If you don't have the consent of the artist, you shouldn't do it. If we're talking about ethics, is all I'm saying. I don't want to hear no, well, the intent was this. I don't want to hear no, well, the, he got permission from so-and-so. If, it, if it's not them, then don't do it. That's just how it is. Mortal Man was deep. That's great. And contextually, Mortal Man fits. But at the same time, without the consent, you're, you're grave digging. You can say it's not the same as much as you want. You are grave digging. I don't care if the audio is AI. You are taking someone's snippet cut context and putting it in your own perspective for the for the way that you want it to be viewed for the purpose of your song without the consent of the person if they're dead you can't do it that's grave digging i don't you could you could you could, you could recontextualize it as many times as you want it's grave digging i don't care what you say i don't think this need to be made bigger than what it is i saw another one that was like oh yeah y'all seeing that uh, a half black artist made a diss track on a fully black african-american using the voice of a fully black african-american from the grave um and y'all are saying it's good like the the shit that i've been seeing is just like and this is just scrolling while streaming like i can't i can't i don't want to platform every crazy take but the shit that i've seen while streaming is just insane just, it, just ridiculous mental gymnastics. Like, what does that help you do? How does that help you? Do, how does that help you fall asleep? I don't know. It's all good, though, bro.